Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Daily Dose. My name is Pastor Maddie Elliott, and I serve as the executive director out at Luther Crest Bible Camp in Alexandria. And it's my pleasure to be joining you for The Daily Dose this week, where we're talking all about who God has created us to be. That's our theme at summer camp this year, and I'm so excited to be bringing it to you. And today we are talking about our day four theme. I want to tell you about a piece of scripture that I think is really pivotal. And it happens in the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, it's post Jesus' resurrection. And Jesus' disciples are living this kind of wild life. There's a little bit of being in exile. There's a little bit of how are we going to talk about this guy Jesus? How are we going to talk about what just happened? Who are we going to be as God's people now that everything has changed? Before, we were working on being right with God. All we were thinking about is, how do we be right with God? How do we live into the covenant that we have made with God? But now everything has changed. Now Jesus has been raised from the dead and has risen to new life. Jesus has conquered everything. And so how are we going to talk about that? How are we going to be God's people? Well, as you can imagine, this church life was no different than our church life. And just like in our churches, everyone has lots of opinions on how things ought to be. And it's our call as God's people to work together through that. When our opinions don't line up, when we have different political uh, alignments, when when, uh, things don't go right all the time, God calls us to be in that space together, to not let it divide us and tear us apart. And these people in Acts, they had the same problems. They were wondering big questions of who they were as God's people. And in fact, one of the questions might even crack you up a little bit. Sometimes it does to me. One of those questions was, hey, to be one of these Christian people, one of these people of the resurrection, uh, do we still have to be circumcised? Because that was one of the Jewish laws. So do we still need to do that? And guess what? They got in a big old argument. And you know what? There was good thoughts from both sides of like, well, Jesus was a Jew and Jesus followed the Jewish laws and traditions. And so, and so, yes, we should be like Jesus. We should. We should follow those laws as best we can. And then there was another group of people that said, well, what about the people that, you know, weren't Jewish, that didn't follow those laws? Are they excluded from the gift of the gospel, which was given to all people? And there's big arguments on how this ought to go. But eventually, if you read in the book of Acts, they come to this great conclusion and they say nothing should get in the way of us telling the story of Jesus Christ. Not circumcision, not any law. Nothing should stand in the way of us telling about the story of Jesus' resurrection. Today in the church, I think oftentimes we get bogged down with how things ought to be, how things should be. What checklist can we make sure that we're doing so that we do church right? Well, guess what, folks? There's not really like an A plus when it comes to church work. No, God just calls us to share God's story, which is the story of Jesus in the resurrection. And at the the end of the Gospel of Matthew, you even hear Jesus' final commission where he says, Friends, go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God calls us to bring people together in baptism, not be apart. And so in those moments in church work or just in life in general, I think a great question to wonder about is, How is God calling us to be together, to dwell in these spaces, even the difficult ones, as church together? Because we are called to be disciples, to be one body in Jesus Christ. So friends, I'll leave you with some scripture that we're leaving our campers with each week, and that is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, fearfully and wonderfully made to be a disciple. Thanks for joining.